The net worth turns out to be one of the most valuable assets in a company's or organization's uh, assets. That this is because the network or the computer network is what connects people within the organization and also uh, people within the organization with the external world and uh, enable information interchange. So it's very important to maintain the network properly so that everyone will have an equal opportunity to uh, communicate and also networks can be well congested because of malicious use and also problems like uh, infected computers so what we're going to talk today is about cacti uh, it's a network monitoring tool which uh, produces very beautiful graphs and a lot of information about how and where networks are well, going crazy so if you want to know more about cacti you can go to their website www.cacti.net it's a free software as i mentioned and it's available in most of the uh, repositories uh, in linux so we're not going to install cacti from uh, the source tables if you want you can get them over here the latest version is 0 0.8.7 and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh, ubuntu's uh, app get repository uh, to install cacti so first what we are going to do is we are going to update our repository using sudo apt get update well i've already uh, updated my repository a few hours ago so you are not going to see anything special uh, and once uh, this thing is done you'll have a list of uh, urls where your operating system or Ubuntu can fetch the uh, no, compiled versions of software, the latest compiled versions of software, and install them on the on your computer. And once we update the repositories, what we're going to do next is uh, to install Cacti. So I'm going to use uh, sudo apt get install Cacti, and also I'm going to install Cacti Spine. Uh, And uh, this is kind of a large installation. If you are used to Linux, uh, you have 51.3 megabytes. One reason is that you have uh, PHP, MySQL, and Apache to install. So that alone is like 30 megabytes in size. And uh, there are a lot more other modules uh, that is going to be installed once this is. And it will take quite some time. Uh, not much though. I'm going to say yes. It's going to use 126 megabytes in my hard disk. It's not a problem. And what we're going through now is the MySQL uh, configuration. So what I've had was a completely new installation of Ubuntu, and now I'm going to install a root password for MySQL. So I'm going to give a simple password like ABC123. I'm going to say OK. And it's now asking for to repeat the roots, uh, the roots password. So we just say to see one two three. And over here we got a warning that the include path for PHP has changed. Well, I've searched the net for some time and I've been able to fix this, but uh, recently I noticed that uh, you actually don't need to fix this. Well, it worked without fixing. That's kind of interesting. So we're not going to spend time on correcting what they are talking about and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry on if you're interested you can just write this thing down or take a snapshot but I'm not I'm just going to OK and thereafter uh, we are coming to the uh, which version of uh, well web server Cacti should use so we're going to say we're going to use Apache 2 Apache 2 is actually the latest version of Apache and I'm going to say OK by pressing enter and what you see is uh, the tarballs are being, not tarballs, the uh, dev files are being uh, extracted and the installation process is happening. Yeah, installation process in, if your computer is a dedicated PC, uh, mine is a, uh, a virtual machine in Linux, sorry. Well, what do you call this? VMware. Uh, so the installation process is kind of very slow. Uh, because of this access is kind of limited in virtual machines 
and also I'm having very little RAM. I believe it's 128 megabytes. So generally everything happens very slow in this virtual machine. Okay, I think we are coming to the end of the installation. It's installing the my, uh, MySQL Server at the moment. So if you have uh, this software installed uh, yet, it will take uh, less time. And it depends on what type of software you have already installed. Okay, looks like it's okay. Now, okay. right, configuring Cacti. The Cacti package must have a database installed and configured before it can be used. This can be optionally handled with DB config command. Okay, so you can well be kind of smart and select the no option, or you can use the DB config IG common. Well, let's use that common thing because we don't need to go through unnecessary trouble, or at least at the moment. And over here, it's asking for please provide the password for the administrative account uh, with which this package should create its MySQL database and user. The password for the database administrative user. Well, let's put some simple ones again. I'm going to use ABC123. I strongly recommend you do not use that password. And now it's asking for the MySQL application password for Cacti. Please provide a password for Cacti to register with the database. Okay. I'm saying ABC123. I'm going to click OK. Password confirmation ABC123. Once again, do not use obvious passwords like that. Okay. Now the installation process has all finished and uh, we should be able to go and install Cacti uh, using the browser. So, uh, if your uh, machine or the Linux machine that you are in uh, has a full qualified domain name like let's say cacti dot your network dot com, uh, you can use it. But if not, you'll have to use the IP address of your Linux machine, Linux box. I'm going to say IP config. And it turns out to be that my IP address is 192.168.0.182. Okay, 192.168.0.182. I'm going to open Internet Explorer, get a new tab, and I'm going to say 192.168.0.182. Slash CAC T. Okay, so now we are in the Cacti's uh, installation guide. It says, Thank you for taking the time to download and install Cacti. You are welcome. We got it free. Make sure you have read, uh, found, and in 32 based operating systems in yeah, Unix. If you want, you can look into this if you, because you are in Unix. And uh, uh -huh, there are a lot of other information. I'm not going to go through them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click next and I'm going to select a new installation. You have upgrade from Cacti 8 or you can have a new installation. That's Lassie. Okay. I can shout at her but it will be well not worth it. I'm going to use next and well you see almost everything has found. Everything's in green. Okay. File found. We're looking for some these are libraries, SNMP walk, a uh, lot of things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say next or finish. And here comes the login window. Okay. Let's hope it works. I'm going to say root ABC123. Nope. Administrator perhaps. Nope. Uh, what the okay give me a second I'll just check out and see what's the password and username for this I think it's admin admin perhaps nope 
okay yeah it's admin admin all right it's not the password that i gave over there it's because that's for the mysql database and uh, once you come uh, into the installation and login process what you have to give is admin admin and once you give admin admin uh, you'll get to change the password please enter a new password for cacti uh, so i'm going to say well my sweet old password abc123 and confirm it by saying abc123 and i'm going to say save okay so uh, this is your graph view or actually the console of cacti and at this point uh, well we're not much of use because i'm not in a in some sort of a real network and when i'm at work i'll just show you how things can go on that's into the latter part of this video i'll continue from my office okay